Vicky Arbiter, the late Queen's long-serving press secretary, has demanded an apology from publisher Penguin Random House over an alleged inaccuracy in Spare, Prince Harry's memoir. Without naming him, Harry's ghostwritten book claimed Mr. Arbiter had warned Harry and wife Meghan Markle they could expect no mercy from the British establishment. However, he tweeted, what are at Penguin Random going to do about correcting this allegation against me, I never said anything of the sort. How about a public apology PDQ? The remark in question instead appears to have been made by journalist Trevor Phillips. The confusion appears to stem from a Mail Online article published on January 10, 2020 precisely two years before the publication of Spare, which considers the impact of Harry and Meghan's decision to stand down as frontline royals and relocate to North America, initially Canada. Mr. Arbiter is quoted as saying, the Queen will bear this latest insult with the stoicism with which she has faced every other challenge in her life. But make no mistake, an insult it is. Dicky Arbiter, the Queen's former press secretary, Image, GMB, Prince Harry published his memoir on Tuesday, Image, Getty, Meghan and Kate's awkward interaction at royal major event after cringe-inducing joke Meghan clashed with the royal family in one of her first public appearances with the firm, Prince Harry's book has revealed, following a joke that left them cringing. A comment by the Duchess to Kate, the Princess of Wales, led to a yawning silence, the Prince wrote. Read more here. Harry's book says, the Queen's ex-press secretary concluded, that we could hereafter expect no mercy. However, the words in question are actually attributed to former chair of the London Assembly Mr. Phillips, who is quoted as saying, once outside the royal enclosure they will no longer enjoy the deference that Harry, at least, has had all his life. They will join the rest of us in the trenches. They can expect no mercy from those who like things just as they are. Justin, Prince Harry warned against reputation as professional victim Prince Harry's book went on sale on Tuesday, Image, Getty, Trevor Phillips, the journalist and former chairman of the LGA, Image, Getty, speaking to Express. Co.uk afterwards, Harry throughout his book was talking about inaccuracy and yet does exactly the same. It's a bit hypocritical. The other thing that he got wrong is he talked about an Xbox, well the Xbox did not arrive until a couple of years later. There is no excuse, if you are writing something non-fiction and if you know it is going to be a bestseller, then you check your facts. Don't miss change in parenting spotted as William George performed same ritual, parenting, Kate's shyness clear at last concert, but 2022 showed excitement, body language, Kate shows how curtsy is really done after Meghan's comedy bowing, video, Dickie Arbiter's tweet, image, Twitter. These things are easily available to check if you care to Google them. It does need to be corrected, and one would assume that given the book has allegedly sold one. 5 million and I believe that the original run was 2 million, that it will be corrected in the next run. Express.co.uk has contacted Penguin Random House for comment, as well as Prince Harry via Archwell. The English language edition of Spare sold more than 1.4 million copies on its first day of publication. The seven biggest bombshells from Prince Harry's book and interviews. What we know so far Prince Harry has sat down for two media interviews ahead of the publication of his highly anticipated book, of which leaked excerpts suggest he has further grievances to air. Perhaps the biggest revelation so far was the physical altercation Harry alleges happened between him and Prince William. One snippet claimed Kate and William apparently howled with laughter at Harry's 2005 Nazi costume, while an interview clip showed Harry sees no future returning to the royal family. See the seven biggest bombshells from Prince Harry's book and interview so far here. Trending Penguin Random House has reported its largest ever first day sales total for any non-fiction book published by the company.
According to the publisher, the English language edition of Spare sold more than 1,430,000 units in all formats and editions in the United States, Canada and the UK on January 10, when it first hit bookshop shelves. Speaking about the record sales, president and publisher of the Random House Group Gina Centralo said, while many books by public figures can be fairly categorized as celebrity memoir, Spare is not that. Vulnerable and heartfelt, brave and intimate, Spare is the story of someone we may have thought we already knew, but now we can truly come to understand Prince Harry through his own words.